An unknowing bait fisher may think it's a bonanza when finding scads of three inch bait fish stacked at check dams along the Kansas River. But these aren't the gizzard shad that anglers are after. Instead, these small fish are dangerous look-alikes that threaten the future of Kansas waters and fisheries. These are Asian carp, big head and silver, that can choke native habitat and eat all the plankton vital to survival of Kansas game fish. They can grow five pounds or more in their first year, eventually reaching weights near 100 pounds. Eliminating them is impossible, but stopping their spread is now a goal of highest emergency. And that's where the Kansas sportsman comes in. Jason Geckler is the Kansas Wildlife and Parks Aquatic Nuisance Species State Coordinator. Battling a host of invasive species ranging from plants to zebra mussels, the current forefront includes Asian carp now commonly mistaken for native bait fish with potential to infest clean Kansas waters. Uh, Asian carp have started showing up in the state back in the late 90s with the big head carp. And then in the late 2000s, around 2006, we started seeing silver carp. Uh, and it's taken several years for the population to develop, but right now we consider it at a critical level. There are so many Asian carp out in the river, we're so concerned about people moving these fish out of, out of the rivers and into our impoundments. Regulations strictly forbid the possession and transport of all live Asian carp, but anglers who don't recognize these fish can unwittingly spread them to new places. That's why Kansas Wildlife and Parks is now asking bait fishers to take no chances. The safest bet is to leave all captured bait fish at the site where they were taken. Keep no live bait fish for later use at other waters. It is against the law to catch bait fish in one department managed water and use them in another department managed water. Andy Jansen, Kansas City fisheries biologist, reminds anglers to take the Asian carp threat seriously. We're here at Johnson County uh, Water One Dam, uh, checking on the status of the Asian carp stack up below the dam. Uh, we're also out here to post a few signs to alert the anglers coming here uh, that the Asian carp are here and, and in good numbers. We want to remind them that we cannot possess a uh, live Asian carp. Uh, it, it is illegal and it can be ticketed. Please practice safe bait fishing and encourage fellow anglers to do the same. Help stop the spread of Asian carp and other invasive species in Kansas. Our basic clean, drain, dry message still applies for Asian carp or white perch or zebra mussels or any other invasive species where you don't want to take any fish with you and you don't want to take any water uh, with you from these locations. It's up to you to help protect our Kansas waters. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.